Not having it. Game Caviar. I'm in a Game Caviar studio. Look what I got. I got a PlayStation Vita. Oh. I had a PlayStation Vita. Huh. Yeah. So I got this Vita, right? Um, I picked it up. And uh, it's kind of dusty. I picked it up the other day. The day after the launch. Thursday. And I was playing around with it since then. This thing is amazing. I have the... What? I have the 3G uh, and Wi-Fi version with AT and T. You see right here? It's the nice little screen that it has. This is an OLED screen, which stands for Organic Light Emitting Diode. OL OLED. It's bright. It's fast. I mean, not fast. It's bright. The thing, the Vita is fast. The screen is vibrant. And it comes with all these apps like uh, Facebook, which doesn't work right now, and Google Maps, in case you get lost. I looked up food the other day and it took me right to a place. Uh, Netflix, when you want to watch a movie. I downloaded the Unit 13 demo. This game is awesome. I need to figure out a way to hook this up to my PVR so I can give you gameplay videos. That's what I do. I guess you can add like music, videos, stuff like that. The, the remote play works just like it did on PSP. A lot of people didn't do that on PSP, I'm guessing. I don't know. You got the PlayStation Store. And this this is what it does. Like, hold on. I'm going to go back. When you click an app, it takes you to this screen, which is like a, uh, like a pre-screen to where it comes up with like recent information for the app that you're choosing, I guess. Pictures, videos, I guess. Updated apps. All you have to do is press start. And it'll launch the program. It will launch the program. Anyway, once you get into the PlayStation Store, you can down, you can buy and download games directly into the device. Now, I have the 3G version, like I said, and it came with a nice uh, memory card. The memory card is 8 gigabytes. Totally worth the money. Uh, I know a lot of people were complaining about the price of the memory cards, which is crazy. This is 8 gigabytes. I got this for free. I traded in a PSP, the old handheld. And I got, I, I traded in a four gigabyte, two or four gigabyte, no, it was a two gigabyte old memory card for the, the uh, PSP. They gave me four dollars. They gave me four dollars. Four dollars. I'm pretty sure this memory card costs more than four dollars and it's twice the size. It's a special memory card. I'm not going to take it out because I'm, I'm not. It's a special memory card is what I'm saying. You got all these apps up here. You can go down to, whoa, hold on. You can go down to demos. Ah, uh, how do you get back to the uh, thing? You gotta trust me on this. No, you can get the demos. You can download demos, games, everything that you want. Like I said, it downloads directly into the device. Speaking of the 3G, it is with AT&T. You can check your minutes. You can have it set up to where it renews monthly, but you don't have to. Because I bought the 3G version, they gave me a Connect Pass for free. I thought it was free. It is free, but you have to buy one, and then they give you a free one. And then they're supposed to email you a code so you can download a free game. Super Stardust HP Awesomeness. I haven't gotten an email yet. I need to get the email. Whatever. I don't have a lot I don't have any I bought a game okay it's uh oh yeah fireworks and I have fireworks and I have cliff diving these games were free which is right up my alley I love the free games because I'm cheap whatever um what happens what you do is you start the game up and you have these alternate reality cards and this blew my mind when it first when I first saw it <laughs> blew my mind. It was like you sit the card down on a flat surface and you take your Vita and then you point it towards the card. What happens within the game is that the card will transform. In the fireworks game, a house will pop up on the card and then the house will start shooting fireworks. And you can have like all these cards scattered around and then it'd be like a whole neighborhood shooting fireworks. Blew my mind. The, th the same thing with the uh, the other game, the cliff diving. It's this guy who dives off a cliff. That's why it's called cliff diving. The same thing. You put the AR card down, and then it turns into a cliff with like some water, and then the dude flies in on a helicopter, and this is all happening right here. Now, the card turns into a cliff, and the guy comes, and he comes in on a helicopter, and then he lands and, you know, does whatever, whatever. And, um, what is it? Ah, uh, I'm losing my train of thought. What's going on here? No. The background is whatever you have in your house. So it's like you point the Vita and you see the card that turns into the game itself. But the background is your room, wherever you have it at. It's 
pretty cool. Uh, this is the back touch screen. Uh, oh, yeah. I use it a little bit. I've seen it being used on Uncharted where you can slide down to climb up a ladder and vice versa. Let me see. I have Hustle Kings and I can use the back to zoom in and out on those on those balls. <laughs> to zoom in and out on the pool balls so I can get a better shot. Hustle Kings actually was a free game too and it's part of the cross play to where you can play it on your PS3 and then you're like, I'm tired of playing it on my PS3. I'm gonna put it on my Vita. So you play it on your Vita. Seems simple. Anyway, you have uh, Power button, memory, I mean, uh, where the games go, accessories, 3 megapixel camera on the back, 3 megapixel camera on the front. It's 3 megapixels, but it still takes pretty good uh, pretty good pictures. Uh, microphone, headphone jack, you know, your buttons up top, your left and right button, these buttons, start and select buttons, two analog sticks, which work out pretty well. Messaging, and the, this is pretty cool, okay? Listen up. Listen up. You go to group messaging and you can message your people from your friend list that you have on your PlayStation network. So if I'm on my Vita and I see that somebody's online that I know, I can get on my Vita and be like, sup? And sometimes they respond. They respond, they say hi or whatever, you know, and I can get it on my Vita. Now, it kind of sucks because you also get it on your PS3 when you log back on. There's no, I don't think there's any way to differentiate between the two, so you'll get the messages twice. Not a big deal. You can just delete them. Overall, I'm really, I'm, I'm happy with the Vita and everything that come, that goes along with it. And you can, I have a lock on my screen. I need Sony to do me a solid and put more apps on the uh, PlayStation Store for um they have netflix they have facebook they have Flickr, and they have twitter so you can start tweeting i need more i need youtube hulu plus hbo go i need an app that tells me where all the cold stone creameries are in case i want some ice cream i need an app that allows me to look up in the sky and see orion's belt i need an app that i need an onstar app in case i want to start my vehicle up while i'm playing the game I just need, and you know what? The 3G version, when you um, when you activate it, they give you a phone number. So I'm guessing that Sony can literally turn this into some sort of almost like a phone. I mean, it can be. It's only a data plan, but you, you can have you can have like Fring or Tango or a Foxer or Tickle. You can have apps like that and people can hit you up while you're playing Vita like, what's up? And you could be like, no, nah, I gotta call you back, I'm playing my game. This is like a tablet that's strictly, not strictly, but a tablet that's it's tailored towards gamers. And you have, uh, I wish they had, what's it called? The thing that lets you read books? Kindle. I wish they had a Kindle app. That would be awesome. I want this app store to rival the Android market and the Apple app store. Now, they have a lot of work to do, but at the same time, you can, I mean, they have a lot of time. They got work and time. They got to put in work and time to reap the benefits of this Vita. I give this Vita a, a, um, a 9 out of 10, but that's going to change, though, because, like I said, the hardware part of it is, is spot on. Everything is straight. The back screen works well. Uh, the, the front screen works well. I mean, the back tech screen works well. Uh, the front tech screen works well. It looks beautiful. It's sleek. It's lightweight. It's not too heavy. The 3G works amazingly well. It's fast. Uh, the Wi-Fi works. It picks up a signal immediately. What else? The analog sticks work well. All the buttons work well. The software part is what I'm worried about. I want Sony to support it so they can continue to blow my mind. <laughs> this is my Vita review and first impressions. I'm not having it in the Game Caviar Studio. Again, like I was saying, we try to take our channel to the next level in 2012. So if you could take a moment to subscribe to the page. In order for us to get partnered, we need subscribers, a lot of subscribers, and we need um, like a lot of traffic coming into the site. So if you could, just subscribe to the channel, and thanks.